It is an honor to welcome this year's recipient of the Arthur Ashe Award for Courage, Maya Moore. Wow, what an amazing night. Um, thank you to so many people. I could spend five minutes just going down a list of people to thank. Um, the group I'm with right now, you know, you know what you've meant to me. And, and, and Jonathan, I just, I'm so happy for you. Um, Y'all, let's just say hallelujah, first of all, that Jonathan is sitting here right now. Um, it's just, I don't ever want that to get old of just the miracle of your life and who you are, so. Um, but what an honor it is to be accepting an award tonight in the spirit of Arthur Ashe on his birthday. I mean, how, how better, uh, what a better way to, to honor him. Um, he was a man who was persistent in living out his passion for change. Um, <laughs> the headline uh, has been centered around the courage it took for me to step away from the game of basketball. But I'd like to take some time with you tonight to actually talk about a different aspect of courage in this story. Specifically, the courage that it takes to love when it's hard. The courage to live in a way where you're in real relationship with people. And so if you wanna say I have courage, I'd say my courage has not been as much in me not playing but in the emotional and mental and spiritual outpouring into love and fighting against injustice. One of the most freeing things that I've truly come to know in my 20s, um, I'm 32, so the 20s was a big, big deal to me recently, um, but one of the most freeing things I've come to realize is that I'm a created being, wonderfully made in God's image, and that means I don't have to define myself, but my all-knowing, all-loving, all-powerful creator has designed me for a beautiful purpose. I'm sure I'm not alone in wrestling with the question of what it means to be human. And for me, the combination of knowing Jonathan, uh, getting the, the courage from speaking out with my teammates in 2016 on top of just trying to prayerfully walk with the Lord, uh, those all led to the first heartbeats of Win With Justice, or simply a call to bring dignity to all human beings, especially our most vulnerable. Our nonprofit is a, is a social action platform meant to help inspire, educate, and equip all of us to be active participants against prosecutorial misconduct in our justice system. Prosecutors are uniquely positioned to help remedy unjust sentences. They're called to serve the people and fight injustice. And true justice doesn't only mean getting convictions. Now that Jonathan is free, we're able to really shift our focus to equipping people with tools for change. That's why we're partnering with For the People a leading national nonprofit that supports prosecutors and family members as they seek to remedy unjust sentences. Together, we're offering a new tool to win with justice, prosecutor-initiated resentencing. It's for prosecutors, it's for community members who are all working to bring their loved ones home. And with this new tool, prosecutors now have the ability to reunite families and restore communities that have been decimated by mass incarceration. As athletes, we have unique power and influence over our culture and communities for what matters most. And one of the best ways that we role model this is by being honest about our own humanity first. 
We are more than athletes. We are complex, multi-layered human beings created to know each other and to be known in real relationship. Taking time to be in real relationship is the start of real change. We weren't designed to grow alone. This is win with justice. Loving your neighbor, especially the ones not exactly like you. When I met Jonathan, we both knew that we had different life experiences, but we both stepped outside of our comfort zone, developed a friendship, and now we have become more of who we were destined to be. This is the win with justice story. Love costs. Love sacrifices. Sacrifice is one of the most compelling aspects of sports the sacrifice of comfort for a greater level of skill, the sacrifice it takes to work together as a team so everyone can shine in their gifts. These sacrifices we make in sports are great, but I would invite you to see them as just pointers to the sacrifices of life that matter most. The ones that are centered around helping each other live to the fullest, sacrificing the power you have to humanize someone else. Power is not meant to be gripped with a clenched fist or to be hoarded, but power is meant to be handled generously so we can thoughtfully empower one another to thrive in our communities for love's sake, championing our humanity before our ambitions. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.